So over the past few days, I've been extensively trying out Grok 3 and I kind of found it to be even better than ChatGPT and Claude in many cases. And it could, I mean, it almost reached a point where it could actually replace both ChatGPT and Claude. But today in this video, I'm going to try to build a game using uh, Grok 3 in Python, obviously using Pygame. So I'll walk you through the entire process and also give you a walkthrough as to how you can build a game or any other software or let's say app or anything, pretty much anything using Grok 3. So without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is grog.com and the first thing that you gotta do is to visit grog.com or click the first link in the description below and sign up for a new account. And as of now, grog is completely free for everyone. So you don't have to purchase or a plan to use it. So now that I'm logged into grog, all I gotta do is to give the prompt. And in this video, I'm trying to build a space inverters game using Python and Pygame. So I'll go ahead and say, create a space inverters game with nice graphics and animations in Python. So this is the basic prompt that I'll give. And I'll also make sure to select Grok3 as the model and I can click on the send button. Now Grok will go ahead and write the entire code and all that stuff. So let's wait for it to complete the same. All right, so as you can see, Grok has went ahead and wrote the code in Python. And the next step that we have to do is to go ahead and create a new project and create the new Python file. And I can go ahead and copy paste all the code. So quickly I'll go ahead and create a new project folder and open it up in VS Code. All right, so here I have opened up VS Code and this is the code editor that we'll be using today. So you can go ahead and use pretty much any kind of code editor out there, be it Cursor, Windsor, Fortray, AI, whatever it is, it's okay. And now if I read this one, Okay, it says, I'll help you create a space inverters game using Python with Pygame, which includes nice animations and graphics and all that stuff. So we'll create a simple version with a playership enemies and basic shooting mechanics. So here's the code. Okay, so we have the code in here, the actual code for the game. And to enhance the graphics and animations, you will need to first install Pygame. For that, I can run pip install Pygame, which I've already done and Pygame is already installed in here. And for better graphic, replace the simple colored rectangles with actual sprite images. Okay. So if I go ahead and copy this code and open, let's say VS code and I'll create a new file called as let's say space underscore inverters dot py. So basically all these uh, Python files have this uh, format or extension dot py. So make sure to get that right. And I'll go ahead and paste the code. And here we have the code right now. It will, the game will only have simple rectangle shapes and all that stuff. So the actual animations or the actual images are not implemented. Any which ways I'll go ahead and try to run it. So to run it, I can click on this play button right here and let's wait for it. Okay. So there we have it. And if I press, okay, I can use the arrow key to move around. And if I press space, I can send, or let's say shoot and I can destroy all these enemy spacecrafts. All right, cool. So now let's just go ahead and take it to the next level. I want to give or I want to change these rectangle boxes to actual spacecraft and I also want to change the anime also I want to add an animation when uh you know explosions happens okay so basically when I go ahead and shoot any of these enemy spacecrafts I want nice explosions and all that kind of cool effects maybe we'll also go ahead and try to add some uh, sound effects as well so I'll go okay already Grok has given us all the code is what I believe so let me see all right, so we can go ahead and create a couple of these images like player ship, enemy ship and bullet. So these three are the assets that we need. And then we can also create a collision thing. Okay. So first of all, we'll have to source all these images that we can use. For that, I'll head over to flaticon.com. First up, we need a player ship, then we need enemy ship and also a bullet. So I'll go ahead and search for, let's say, space ship and hit enter. Let's see. Okay. Here we have a lot of these images. So I'll go ahead and download this one. So this one looks good to me. Mm, or maybe I can select uh, this one with a better color. Okay. So this is our spaceship or the actual spaceship. So I can go ahead and click on the PNG option and download the same. Okay. So there we have the spaceship. And next up, we need the enemy ship for that one. I'll maybe let's let's I can search for, let's say alien. And let's see. Mm, okay, so this one looks good. For the enemy spaceship, I'll use this particular image. So I'll go ahead and download the PNG file. Okay, so it's named monster. We'll go ahead and uh, rename it in a bit. Next up, we need a bullet. So let me just go ahead and search for bullet. Hit enter. I can use, let's say this one. So this one looks good. So this is what I'm going to use as bullet. So I'll go ahead and download it as well. And next up, we also need a uh, explosion frame. So explosion zero PNG through explosion four PNG. 
So basically every time the bullet goes ahead and hits our enemy spaceship, we need a nice animation of explosion animation. And for that, Grok is basically suggesting us to have four different images. And then the four images will be shown one after the other to create that animation effect. Or maybe I could actually go ahead and create a sprite. Maybe I could find that online. So let's see. So I'll go ahead and search for Space Invaders Explosion Sprite PNG and hopefully I can find something. And oh, this one looks good. Okay, so if I can get the PNG version of this, this should be good. So let me see. So let me quickly go ahead and download the PNG version of this one. Uh, where's the download button? Okay, download for free. Now we also have that sprite, I guess. All right, so there you have it. So we have this uh, PNG sprite image as well. And the next thing that you gotta do is to rename all of these files. So first of all, I'll quickly go ahead and copy all this file into the root folder. So the folder that we have opened up in VS Code. So let me open the downloads folder and I'll drag and drop all these images in here. And first up, I need to rename bullet. So bullet is bullet.png. That looks good. Next up for the player ship, I need to name it as player underscore ship. Where is it? So, okay. So this is our ship. So I can go ahead and say player underscore ship.png. And then we have enemy underscore ship.png. I'll say enemy underscore ship.png. And then we also have this explosion frames. All right. So I'll have to go ahead and let the AI know or Grok know that I'm actually using a sprite. And maybe I can also go ahead and attach the same image so that the AI will create all these framing and sprite locations or extract each frames from that one image. So let me go ahead and type. As for explosion, I will be using the attached sprite. Can you please modify the code to use the same? As for the player and enemy ship and bullet. Okay, I have all the, wait, I have all the required images. And I'll also drag and drop this sprite image. So let me quickly go ahead and find that. Where is it? Okay, sprite image. Drag and drop files in here. I'll attach the same and I can go ahead and click on the send button. So here I have attached the original sprite image with different variety of explosions and Grok is free to choose whatever it feels is good. All right, so Grok has went ahead and wrote the updated code and it says, here's the modified code incorporating your explosion sprite sheet while keeping the existing setup for the player ship, enemy ship and bullet. Assuming you have named and placed those images as okay, all of that is taken care of. So here we have the updated code, right? So I'll go ahead and copy the same and open VS code. Okay, VS code and replace all the code in here. So delete and put the new code and hopefully everything should work now. So we have bullet.png, enemy ship.png, player ship.png and also, okay. Oh, again, I want to change the name of this sprite sheet. So it says, I assume, okay. So we need to change the name of the sprite as explosion sprite sheet. So I'll go ahead and replace the name. So it's called explosion underscore sprite sheet dot PNG. All right. So everything pretty much looks good. So I can go ahead and click on the play button and hopefully everything should work and we should have the bullet, enemy ship, player ship and also explosion sprite. So let's see. I'll go ahead and click on the play button and let's wait for it to launch. Oh, look at that. How cool, right? We have our player ship, the enemy ships, and also let me see if I can shoot bullets. Okay, missed. Okay, as you can see, we have that nice uh, animation or let's say the explosion effects using the sprite that we passed. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and further customize it. And now let's just go ahead and say, I want to include a space background for the game. So I'll go ahead and tell the AI that, and let's take it up from there. Can you please add a space background in the game and I can hit enter and let's see obtain a space background image okay so first of all we need to find our image space inverters all right so I went ahead and downloaded the background image to be used in our game so this writer is a 600 by 600 pixels uh, image of a space and I went ahead and downloaded and used the image in Canva and resized it to 600 by 600. And now I can drop it in the root folder, I guess. So obtain the spacecraft image. Okay, save the background image as space background.png. All right, so let me quickly open the folder, rename it, and now I'll open VS Code and drop this image that we just downloaded. Okay, wait a second, space background. Okay, oh, 
dot png twice so i can okay now that looks good and here we also have an updated code all right so i'll go ahead and copy the same okay uh yeah that should be it i guess so let me open vs code again i'll replace the content inside of this file paste the new code save and now let me close this one and open it up again okay clicking on the play button and look at that we have that nice space background as the background Ooh, nice animation all right so all of that works amazing right and now let's just say i also want to add some sound effects so every time i hit any of these enemy spacecrafts i want a certain sound effect to be played okay i'll close this one and i can go ahead and say can you please add a sound effect every time the bullet hits a enemy space ship yeah and hit enter and let's see so it says we'll use pygames mixer module to handle audio and first of all we need to obtain a sound effect and once we have it we need to say name it something like hit sound dot wave and to generate the actual sound i'll be using galaxy ai so i can go ahead and say i mean visit galaxy ai and now i'll go ahead and search for sound effects generator okay there you have it and now i'll say mm, explosion sound when a bullet hits the enemy space ship in the space invaders game so i have explained it okay and now i can go ahead and i guess drop the duration to the minimum and i can click on the generate sound effect option and once it's generated i could download and put it in the root folder and everything should work as expected so let's wait all right so we have the sound effect in here and let me quickly play it for you okay not bad also i'll go ahead and download it so it is currently in mp3 format and i believe i should name it as what okay wave or well, no problem so i'll go ahead and first copy the updated code and open vs code and replace the entire code in here and next up i need to drop the sound effect that we just downloaded and name it as what okay hit sound hit underscore sound so hit underscore sound oops and i can go ahead and drag and drop it to the root of the folder so here we have hit underscore sound dot mp3 but in the code it says wav okay so i can go ahead and replace it to mp3 and as per grok uh, mixer module supports both wav and mp3 all right so that should work is what i guess so let me go ahead and click on the play button again load the game and let's see moment of truth maybe increase the volume let's see wow Can you believe that we now have a proper game with all these cool animations, sound effects? Wow, what not? It works. Maybe I can just go ahead and ask the AI to convert it into a 3D game. I don't know how successful will I be in it, but let's just say, can you convert it into a 3D game? Yeah, click on enter. I don't know, but let's see. Converting significant undertaking. It requires moving from Pi game. Oh, okay. Mm, uh, seems like that's a bit of a hassle. In which case, let's wait. All right. So it seems like it's a bit of a work and also converting a normal 2D game into a 3D game is a bit of a hassle. But don't worry, I'll create a dedicated video explaining all about creating a 3D game in the near future. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that one. In which ways we have our working re game ready in here. Space Inverters. I can shoot all these enemy... All these enemy ships down sound effects works and if i want to i can add all these animations change background add maybe other flying objects within the game to make it a bit more realistic so you can have a, you can go ahead and download a different space background image add it and you can also go ahead and download image of let's say png image of particles and use it and you can just go ahead and say to the ai that okay i want these particles to randomly move around you could do all of that so that's how simple it is to create a game using uh Grok in python so yeah that's the point so that's all i wanted to show you in this video not just games so just for demonstration purpose i went ahead and shown you how you can create a game but whether you want to create an xjs project or let's say a web application a backend 
even system software you can use grok to do the same and again as of now grok is completely free so you can head over to grok.com or log into your x.com account and you can sign up and access it for free so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one